Today I'm going to share with you how I recently filmed a band with a Canon EOS R, what the video and audio settings were, and how happy I was, how pleased I was with the results. Alright, let's go. You're a beautiful person and a good person, and if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. All right, so recently I was at an event photography gig and I was charged with taking photos of the speakers, the honorees, and getting crowd shots, candids, etc. But there was a band there and I didn't know this ahead of time and I wanted to get a little video of the band. So first I'm gonna tell you what I didn't do. Um, I didn't use a gimbal, I didn't have a stabilizer, I didn't have an external audio, I didn't have an external mic, I didn't have a light. I didn't have an external recorder. I didn't use 4K. I didn't use slow motion. I didn't do any kind of B-roll. This was just documenting the band playing at the moment. And so I'm gonna tell you how I use my camera, my video and audio settings to get what I thought was a really good outcome. And this is props to the Canon EOS R because it is an absolute dynamic camera. I love shooting with it and this was no exception. All right, let's get straight on to the settings. So first, you have to be ready with your camera and I was ready to shoot because I had recorded my preferred video settings on the custom mode. So when you're uh, shooting photos, you just hit the mode button up top and then you hit the info button right there and then it comes up with your um, custom one, two, and three, custom two, which is my 1080p, 24 frames per second, C log, and I'm ready to go. So the exposure set at one over 50, which is the proper frame rate for 24 frames per second. Uh, ISO set at 100, I am ready to rock. I was ready with one click of a button, actually two, mode, then info, actually three mode then info and then custom too, I was ready to go. And so that's how quickly you can be ready to record some video on the fly. Second thing was, you, I used a wide angle lens and the 15 to 35, I'm gonna do a, a review on this. This has been a great addition to my kit. Um, I know I made a video about how the 35 millimeter lens is the best RF lens out there. And that's until I got this one, but the price on this was a lot, um, a lot more, but for video, this wide angle lens is money. And so the wide angle lens minimizes the movement as your hand rolls or tilts, it minimizes that movement with respect to the subject compared to a regular lens or a telephoto lens, which is more exaggerated to the subject. So the wide angle lens helps provide a type of stabilization or stability relatives to your subject. Um, also, I knew that the band was in such an area that I could push in with the wide angle lens and I could get close shots. I could get close shots because I could move into that space. So that was something else that I, I knew I could do. So tip three is turn on image stabilization. So right here, you have stabilizer on or off and you switch that to on and that helps with the lens providing stabilization. And then you go into your menu back here and you turn on stabilization from your camera. So it's uh, first menu, first tab, movie, digital, uh, image stabilization and you just simply enable that. And so you have two types of stabilization ready to help you capture great footage. All right, so then the camera audio settings. Here's here's what I did for that. For the camera audio settings, I, first menu is uh, sound recording manual. Sound recording was set to manual. So right here you can change the recording level and you can see mine is set on the lower side, so it was set down. So helpful, you know, the band could be loud, but it helps kind of um, to attenuate those or soften those sounds. For me, I use manual and I, I had it kind of set to a less sensitive setting. I created movement with the camera. So I saw the band there and I used several types of movement. I didn't just stand there and film in one spot. And so I used at least five different types. Um, first, I pulled back to reveal the guitar player, and then I moved back in, and um, ha having seen the entire guitar player, I wanted to focus on the playing, so I pushed in a little bit on the guitar. And then I started to roll around, so it, I was kind of hiding the rest of the band, and then I pulled back past revealing the mic stand, so the mic stand brushed the frame, and then revealing the singer, and then the keyboard player's coming up on my right, and as he's about to be revealed, then I push in on the hands, so it reveals part of him, a close-up on the hands, and then I get the last two players, the bass player and the drummer. As I lift up, and as I lift up, 
I'm also tilting down so I'm revealing not only the band, but also the city lights behind them out the building. We're on the 51st floor. So that was a kind of cool moment as well. Uh, and the last thing is make adjustments on the fly. So when I started filming, it was a little bit dark. And so I was holding the camera like this. I knew that I needed to bump up the ISO. So what I did is you can hit ISO with your thumb and then tab, tab right there. And you can raise it and touch like that. One more time, I'm filming. So I'm holding it with one hand. Uh, the fingers wrapped around that grip and I hit ISO, arrow, arrow. And you can see it brightens the picture. And that's what I did on the fly. So be prepared to make those adjustments. Well, that's it. I was super happy with the results. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and a little walkthrough of what a wide angle uh, lens and the default audio on the Canon EOS R can do with the proper video settings and audio settings. You can have a great, great outcome. So like this video, subscribe. I hope that you've enjoyed the content. I hope you got something out of it and that you're ready using your custom video settings and uh, don't be afraid. Just shoot, go shoot, go shoot handheld. Like this video, subscribe, everything. All right, thanks.